This is Kim Guzman with Crochet 123 Magazine. In Issue 8, I was asked to make three projects using fun novelty yarns. All three projects are cowls representing each of the major winter holidays. For the first cowl, I've used Red Heart Super Saver paired with Red Heart Boutique Ribbon. This pattern is worked on a simple base and the novelty yarn is woven between the stitches. This is the Red Heart Boutique Ribbons yarn and as you can see it's just a ribbon. And for this project, the Kwanzaa Cowl, I've already made a chain and I've skipped two for the first half double crochet and then I've done two half doubles here. Now all I have done for this project is I have woven the ribbon back and forth. You, I could have made an entire piece in half double crochet and then later woven it back and forth but I thought that that might damage this delicate ribbon so what I've done, the first one is going to be a little tricky, especially on camera. So I'm holding the ribbon here, and I've got some ribbon in the back, and I've got some ribbon in the front. Now just lay the ribbon across the chain there, and you don't want the ribbon to cover up any of the chains you, because you want to stitch in all of them. So just move it out of the way and you can see where you need to stitch. And you'll need three half doubles here. Now don't stitch into the ribbon. Go back and look. Move the ribbon out of the way as you need to in order to avoid stitching into it. There we go. That first one is a little tricky. So now I've got three half doubles here. Now the trick with this project is to not be very precise. You just want little bubbles worked across the fabric made by the, the ribbon. So now we have half double. So now see we've got three half doubles. Now I'm going to move the ribbon back to the back. You don't have to be precise. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's twisting because that is what adds beauty and character to your project is the, the way that the ribbon will move as you're working on it. Nothing has to be precise here. Now I'm going to do three more this time with the ribbon in the back. One, two, and three. Now for the project, I did use black yarn with this ribbon, but that wouldn't show very well on camera. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the ribbon. You see, I'm just weaving it back and forth here. Pull the ribbon to the front and get it out of the way. Push it out of the way as far as it needs to go to make sure that you don't skip any stitches. And then do three. One. Two. And then you'll just go according to the pattern and continue work th working three and three and the ribbon will just be woven in. And again, don't worry about being really precise here because it doesn't have to be very precise. Now if you want more of a bubble, you can do single crochets throughout. If you want less of a bubble, you want it to be more flat, then you could do doubles or treble crochets here. 
just have fun with it. Do whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be three stitches. It could be two or it could be five. Just have fun with it and create your own one-of-a-kind project.